I'd like to talk about abortion today. The abortion started mainly back in the early 1900s. It was promoted by a woman called Margaret Sanger, the head of the National American uh, Eugenics Society. Okay, the, For those of you who don't know, eugenics is a group of people who thinks there's too many people on the face of the earth, and they want to get rid of us any which way that they can. Okay, And uh, another thing that Margaret Sanger did is she thought that, she said, come out and said that black people were weeds, and we need to get rid of these weeds. Okay, uh, She's been pretty successful in her evil ways, I would say, because over 50% of black babies are never even born. They're aborted, okay? And, and uh, th this, is just, this is just totally ridiculous. And that's not saying white people aren't having abortions, too, because obviously there's plenty of them doing it, okay? And it's wrong. I don't, care, I don't care what skin color you are. I don't care what you are. It's wrong, okay? And uh, it's just it's ridiculous. The whole thing is just totally ridiculous. Back... Uh, Back when 9/11 uh, happened, right after that, all the congressmen and senators stood on the uh, on the steps up there in Washington D.C. and sang "God Bless America." Okay, hip hip hooray for for us. All right. Well, I got news for them. How do you ask God to bless America when you when you have aborted over 51 million babies in this country? This is this is genocide. This is ridiculous. I don't, I don't know how they sleep at night promoting this kind of a thing. Okay, this is just totally wrong. And it's, and and some people say, well, this is a pro-choice thing, whatever. Well, that's hogwash. It says in the Bible, this says, I knew you in the womb. That means he knew you before you were born. You have a soul. You had a soul in the womb. And and I, I, I feel sorry for the people that are, that, that that are committing you know these these murders because that's exactly what they are they're murders and i have another question let's just say that that you're a young woman and you decided to get an abortion so you go to this abortion clinic and you're on that table there and you've got your legs up in them stirrups and you look over in the corner and you see jesus standing there are are you still going to go through with this can you really do that because i'm going to tell you something he is there and if you did have an abortion, he was there, okay? And you need to keep that in mind. He, he sees everything that we do. He sees the bad things I do. He sees the bad things you do, okay? He sees it all. And I'm not judging you. God, God will be your judge. You're the one that has to ask for forgiveness like I have to ask for forgiveness for my sins. But you better keep that in mind. And you mothers out there that take your teenage daughters in there to get abortions right and left, say this, as, this is just a normal thing, God help you too, because you're as guilty as the daughter, and maybe more, I don't know, but you're the one who's going to have to answer for all of this. This is just totally ridiculous. And some people have said, like I have a granddaughter who had a baby when she was about 14 years old, okay? She's a, she was a young child, okay? She had a baby, and some people said, oh, she should have had an abortion. Really? I've got an eight-year-old great-granddaughter now who I love with all my heart and soul, okay? My wife loves her. We all love her. And you would have aborted her and ground her up in little pieces and thrown her in the trash like garbage? You're disgusting to even say that. Anybody that would say something like that is disgusting. Good day.